the final section of the wonderful event to come to you. Please come raise your hand. How are we doing? Good luck. Good luck. So, um, this is slightly unrelated to my set. Um, my mum has brought a new boyfriend to this gig. I've never met him. The new one, new dad. <laughs> right, I've got this up all this time. So, uh, I am, my name is Ben Jane Bewer, as you've heard. I am from a place called Ad with Eddie, real place. Uh, it's the South Wales. So, you live in South Wales? <laughs> So, I've lived in Boston for five years. I live on the corner of Tyson Green in Radford. Um, so, my South Wales, South Wales family's nan came to see my flat in Tyson Green slash Radford and she stopped. The real tears. This woman lived through World War II, saw my flat, and was reduced to tears. <laughs> My mum does struggle with capacity. She, she struggles with the new technology and everything that's going around. Uh, she goes to me, yeah, they've got the chains that go through the middle of the city. Terrifying she is. Turns out she's transphobic. <laughs> but it's always been a struggle. The irony is, is that when I came to, to England, I expected to be revered back in Wales. I was a rugby player. I was probably about 10, I knew what I was talking about. So it's like a beer, and it's a few chain masters. <laughs> I don't get this at all. The Welsh invented iron smelting, the hydrogen fuel cell, the pot noodle on the NHS, and suddenly fucked one sheep. <laughs> and I'm a land lover for the rest of my life. <laughs> and the only is, I'm actually half English. Uh, so we meant that when I was living in Wales, I had to learn a language. School, we a language, I'm going to impart. Part of Welsh, and parts of Welsh knowledge to be today. My three favourite Welsh words: smoothio, means to iron to make smooth, nice and simple. Spongen, that's a cock, never had a swash. <laughs> and move droog, which means cannabis, literally translates to the drug of a good mood. Which means if cocaine was translated into Welsh, it would be going to twat drug. So we the thing <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's, my parents also struggle with the Welsh language. They, they, well, my mum's from Wales, and my dad's from a very foreign land of Essex. <laughs> and they, they, had to, they had to learn the language as well. They, they didn't mess up with me and my sister, though. Uh, so my name is Ben, Benjamin. Uh, that literally translates to Pen. My name is <laughs> I was Pen Pew for my entire life. And my sister is disabled. Not my parents off. Uh, and she was in a wheelchair for the first 10 years of her life. But the reason why this has a humorous twist to it is my sister's name is Anna. A N A B. The Welsh word for disabled is Annabel. A N A B L. I shit you not. <laughs> so we'd be happy for family days out, and if you're a Welsh speaker, I was essentially going, What do you like for screen disability? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> People assume that because my sister was disabled, she had a hard life. Did she fuck? <laughs> my sister got front row seats at every single big we ever went to. She had someone who wrote the exams for her, and she also had all the love and attention from my mother and father. <laughs> but it goes for twice. I also had some advantages to it. Turns out, having just taken my sister, proper shit man. Proper shit, by the way. They just assume because you've got to save a sister, you're kind, caring, and patient, and not a honey spoke to you, I'm trying to get a lab uh, And because of this, uh, because of my sister, and because of this kind, caring nature I've had this life, I actually managed to find a girlfriend! Yeah. My girlfriend is five foot seven, long hair with blue eyes from South Africa. Oh my god, am I lucky. <laughs> and uh, so we were part of now being dated for financial stability. So my partner always said my kind, caring, patient nature was the reason why she fell in. Well, after marrying my house. 
But she's not too crude for me. Like I said, 5% of South African blonde hair, blue eyes. Wow. So at the time, obviously, she was getting a little bit disinterested. So I smack it through and say, what's this card? Ooh, you bloody man, you know. Say, what's this card? Ooh, I love you, man. But this, this backfired. Uh, my sister did something very, very selfish. She uh, recovered. Really ruined the love life. Yeah. So the first time um, my partner met my sister, my sister of my mum, she was expecting a young lady in a wheelchair. Uh, my sister is six foot two and is a Paralympic brother. She makes me look tiny. So we went to my house. My partner meets my mum. She's lovely, she's friendly. My mum's crazy and they get along with someone. And then she sees my sister. This baby over the street had to stand up. Run over to her, pick her up, and throw her around like a ragdoll, saying, It's so lovely to meet you, it's so lovely to meet you. And two things happened. Thing one, I realised my sister would fuck my girlfriend harder than I could. <laughs> and then my partner looked at me. Second thing that happened, she looked at me and said, Ben, I cannot believe you lied, saying that your sister was in a wheelchair just to get me into bed. I love my sister. My sister looked at me. She said, the same old sister card again. Very nice, very nice saying. <laughs> so, that's a very short, sharp intro to me, but I would like to leave you with a famous Welsh goodbye. Fuck off, English bastards. Have a good night, everyone.